We are hearing from Andrew Crenshaw about his election 2016 bombshell. He says he hasn't decided what he'll do after he gives up his seat in Congress. Well, I, I really have no idea. The, the main thing is, uh, I, I realize in my life right now, it was time for change, time to turn the page. Uh, I don't know what is next, uh, but I've got a year to finish the work that I've started here in Congress, uh, and that is quite a load. And so once that's over, uh, I'll be thinking about what to do next. It, it, I just really don't have any idea. As you can imagine already, a host of people are lining up to take Crenshaw's spot. Jim Pickett joining us live after speaking with some of them. Jim, what are you hearing and how much time do they have to decide? Well, like you said, a number of people, and there's not much time for this. Qualifying begins next month, so they're already reacting. Some say Andrew Crenshaw's announcement will cause a big political shakeup in North Florida. Many big-name local Republicans are now scrambling to take the seat. Among them, Jerry Holland, the current property appraiser and former supervisor of elections and city councilman. Well, it's an opportunity to, to serve in another capacity if the voters want me to do that. So it's something I'm looking at and seriously looking at and making a decision by uh, Monday. And is this something that you think you could handle? I think I can. I mean, I've been in tough situations. I'm not saying that everything I've done in the past uh, experience-wise relates exactly to it. But I think the experience that I've done is wherever I go, I get moving right away. Holland says if he runs, he wouldn't have to resign his office unless he wins. John Rutherford, the former sheriff, has always indicated he would like to run for Congress and has been meeting with his folks to discuss it. I would be very honored to, to follow uh, and pick up the mantle for Congressman Crenshaw. Um, you know the the service that he's provided to our to our veterans to this country has been phenomenal, and uh, it would truly be an honor to to uh, continue that service. So this is something you're considering. Absolutely. Current state representative Lake Ray says the announcement came as a surprise to him, but he's ready to run. But there's a number of people that have have been reaching out to me this morning, and uh, I'm very honored that people are thinking uh, that I might uh, be a good replacement, and uh, I'm going to be looking at that. News for Jack's political analyst Jennifer Carroll says this will definitely shake things up here in Jacksonville. It's hard to say what candidate would come out front. I think the voters may want to see is a fresh face. Somebody that's probably from the business sector that will really represent our area in economic development. And I would like to see someone that either from the military side that has served in, in previously in the military and or have a, a passion for our military and veterans to serve. You know, it could be a crowded field, as we had mentioned though those names before. We're also hearing about John Delaney and also uh, property, uh, the tax collector, Mike Corrigan. On the Democratic side, talking to the chairman, they say eh, there's been a lot of interest, but no name has come forward. They claim because this area is gerrymandered for Republicans, but they say they will run someone. We're live on the South Bank, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.